Hello, I'm Ryan Tracy, and today I want to teach you my How to Sell Anything to Anyone course this year and beyond. One of the most valuable skills that a person can have is the ability to sell anything to anyone, to be persuasive in life. It's been identified by Harvard University as the most powerful personality, skill, or quality of all. Being a great business person or salesperson opens up many doors of opportunity, especially for entrepreneurs and business owners. Here are a few great tips for selling to anyone. First, understand your customer's needs. No matter what you are selling, the most important part of salesmanship is understanding the needs of your customer and figuring out how to meet them. In almost every case, a salesperson who focuses on how a product is able to meet their customer's needs and wants will be much more successful than a salesperson who focuses on the features and specifications of the product itself. Perhaps your customer has pain points that your product is able to alleviate, or perhaps they have desires that it is able to fulfill. Once you determine the needs of your target customer and how your product is able to meet them, centering your sales presentation around meeting those needs is the best way by far to close a sale. Second, sell yourself. It's important to keep in mind that before a person is going to be willing to hand over their hard-earned money to you, they've got to like you, the salesperson, just as much as they like the product that you are selling. When you're making a sales presentation, take a little time to get to know your customer and let them get to know you. Tell them a quick story, make them laugh, and overall, simply let your personality shine through. If you can make your customer see yourself as a person, and perhaps even a friend, rather than just someone who's trying to sell something to them, they'll be far more inclined to buy something from you and far more open to your influence. Third, Research who you're selling to. Before you are able to meet the needs of your customer and craft your sales presentation to target them as effectively as possible, you first need to know as much as you can about the person you are selling to. Sometimes this entails researching a specific client if you are making a major sales presentation to a high profile figure within a company who you are able to research beforehand. Other times, when you are selling directly to consumers, researching who you are selling to means figuring out the target customer for your product and then analyzing their needs and desires. Either way, knowing as much as possible about who you are selling to before you ever begin your sales presentation is essential if you want that sales presentation to be as effective as possible. Fourth, ask questions. Making a sale centers around having a conversation with the person that you are selling to. And one of the most important parts of that conversation is the questions that you ask. Asking your customer questions and actually listening to their answers is valuable in a couple of different ways. For one, it allows you to figure out more about the person you are selling to, their needs and desires, and what they are looking for in a product or service. Just as importantly, uh, though asking questions is an effective sales technique because people today enjoy talking about themselves. This goes back to making the person you are selling to like you. When you show genuine interest in them and give them the opportunity to talk about their favorite topic themselves, they'll be much more likely to enjoy the conversation and therefore much more likely to buy something from you in the end. Finally, don't just sell. People you are selling to need to see you as someone who is helping them solve a problem through the product or service that you are offering. Keep in mind that one of the main things that leads people to buy a new product is that they are struggling with an issue that they hope that product will address. It's your job, therefore, to make sure that you are as helpful as possible. When you are genuinely trying to be helpful when it comes to addressing your customer's needs, your sales presentation will be far more successful. Before we wrap up, I'd like to leave you with a thought to share with your friends and followers. In sales and business, the future belongs to the askers, the people who ask for what they want over and over again. Now, I'd love to hear from you, so my question today is 
how do you plan to double or triple your sales this year? Leave a comment below and I'll be sure to follow up with you. Thanks for watching and remember if you want to change your future, take action and take action now. If you enjoyed this video and feel it was valuable in teaching you about selling in 2018 and 2019, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to click the button on the screen for a free gift. Thanks again for watching.